Hey warriors. Um, I just was over checking with you really. Uh, I said that I would keep up my progress because I'm on a new path. Um, and I, I'm just checking in really just to say that uh, the last 14 days have just been hideous. Absolutely hideous. This uh, menopause is just hateful. It's just hateful. Um, so, as people who have been following me will know, I've had to change HR teach because of this shortage. And I started on a new HRT called Femist. And um, it just hasn't been good for me at all. Um, I don't know whether you can see, this is like the new shade of pink that goes on here. So, I am just like glowing. Like you can see me from the moon. I oh, It's just beyond the flushes have just been intense uh my migraines are back um my anxiety is just at a nine or a ten even some days you know what to the point i had a meeting last week with somebody that i was in business with for 12 years you know he i would class him as a friend of mine um he's been in my life been to my wedding i had a full-on panic attack in the middle of like having a normal conversation over how are you it is just it comes from nowhere I think that's the worst thing, it's just blindsiding and it comes from nowhere. But my anxiety has just been just obscene, just obscene that I can't even function if I'm honest. So since a week ago Friday, I stopped taking the HRT and the change is instant. Honestly, I think whatever's in these tablets, however they react to your body, for me personally, the change is instant. I start I start taking new HRT Friday. I felt out of sorts Saturday morning, and that have got progressively worse. So, um, today, uh, after looking on the BMA and finding out my HRT isn't even looking to be in circulation until after September, um, I've done a research of the active ingredients in what was in the Elast Duo, um, and I found uh, an alternative. So, um, I've actually run my doctor's surgery today, and I'm hoping they'll ring me back tomorrow. And I'm going to start on that path, but it's very similar um, ingredients to what is what I was taking. So I'm hoping that that makes me feel somewhat better. Because what I will say is, and I've said this previously, um, and I had a laugh with my doctor at the time, because I used to say, well, HRT, women go, HRT make me feel amazing. Well, it, I, I don't feel amazing. I, even at my best. I'm getting to a seven or an eight. I, I can't remember the last time I had a nine or a ten moment because there's something that changes in you. This jigsaw puzzle is never whole. And I don't know why and I can't explain why, but it's never whole. Um, So even at my best, I'm at an eight, you know, an eight. Um, But at the moment, it's been dire. I've been like a two and a three. It's been a hideous week. I've cried more than I've cried in a long time, it's just draining. It's just such a draining place to be. When you feel, um, I just feel anxious constantly. I feel like I can't breathe constantly. I have these swallowing issues, which comes with the anxiety. Um, I can't function. I go in my office. I'm reading the same email 15 times. Um, but with these flushes, I'm getting these migraines. So as soon as I sit at my desk, I get blurred vision. Um, it's just been hideous, just honestly hideous. Um, I wouldn't wish wish what I'm going through on anybody, honestly. Um, so today I took time out to do some research on my HRT. Um, I'm hoping now I'll speak to the doctor tomorrow. I think the worst thing is because of the scares with um cancer, I may have to carry these this HRT that I'm taking out for a month. So it's it's a bit of a scary thought thinking I gotta keep on taking it for a month, but it is what it is. We'll have to just uh ride out to month and I'm hoping um maybe I found an alternative. Um so this path thing running smoothly for me, unfortunately, ladies. Um I'm hanging on the edge. Hanging this week has been really tough. Um my husband has been amazing, he's just so wonderfully supportive and I'm really, really, really fortunate. Um, that I've got somebody that can kind of sense what's going on and you can see how, how down I've been. So he's been super good. So um, I just hope it gets better for me because it's just hideous. And I know where the women are going through this. So I just want to say you're just not going through it alone. Um, 
and we have tough days and today it's just been it's just been 14 days of feeling hellish um and this is the way to get you unfortunately so i just hope things may change pretty rapidly i'm going to try this hrt and if this don't work a client of mine who's a gynecologist have offered um to to see me so i didn't want to bother him because he's been working on the front line with everything going on with covid19 so he will he will be somebody that i will contact if these next sorts of treatment don't work um what i'm here today as well i just want to say we need to just be kind to each other um because what i've realized going through this is the women who are not dealing with the same issues that we are are really not empath empathetic with each other. I think that if you're not going through, you it's really difficult to understand how someone else is is suffering. Um, and I just think just reach out to your friends a bit more. You know, if they say, you know, just read between the lines because I think I've got friends that do it that they just don't want to go out and they'll say to me, oh, I I just can't be bothered or there's something, and I know really that they're just probably feeling a bit poorly. So. I just want to say, ladies, let's just be kind to each other in a time when things are just really shitty. You know, it's a pretty shitty place at the moment. Um, Just be kind and just be, you know, that friend that might be a bit short or a bit bad-tempered. Just take it for what it is and don't read into it and just think, actually, maybe she's having a tough time at the moment. Because as I've said to you, this is really cathartic for me. Um, and I speak more to you, so i got to be thankful for you for watching me than I probably would had I not done this vlog. So I think I get so much more out of it. So when you give me a response and say, oh my God, thank you, I just want to say I get more out of it than you do because it makes me open up. But you have to talk. We have to be kind to each other and we have to talk. Um, so on that note... Well, I'm like an absolute hot mess. Um, hopefully, hopefully the next vlog will be marginally better than this one. Um, I just want to show you when I was messaging, when I did my last vlog the other day, I was doing some um, art, some moss art. So I just thought I would sit here and show you. So the other side of anxiety is I've started doing these projects. I never realised I had an, an arty bone in my whole body. Um but the anxiety takes over me and I just, it overcomes me and it, it is just like this awful devil on my shoulder that sucks out these thoughts and it just makes me think irrational. So I've started keeping really busy outside of work. So even if I can't work because I can't see, I'm doing things outside which kind of keep my anxiety at bay. And this was one of them. So this was cheapest chips. I think it cost me probably 35 quid. Um... And I'm quite proud of myself, so every time I walk into my bedroom, I see it, and I'm quite proud of myself. So I just thought I'd show you that, because I'm just really just giving you ideas of um things that to kind of keep your mind busy when you're doing stuff. And I've actually uh, come, uh, upcycled a sideboard for my office this week. Um, So in between not being able to work because my anxiety has been bad, I've been methodically painting a sideboard pink. Um, so at some point, I'm hoping to be in my office in the next sort of two weeks, um, I will show you that and just give you ideas of doing stuff, because this is something I'd never planned to do in my entire life, and I didn't think I would be creative, but I'm looking for things to do, um, so I'm just giving you ideas, because, you know, it's some fun things to do, and it kind of fulfills that void and stops me from going loopy, because if I didn't have projects at the moment, I think that I would be on the floor, and I would be insane, I think I would be driving myself and everybody around me um crazy so um on that note i hope you're all well and safe um i'm hoping we'll have some news again soon the things will change i'm not in a rush to go out i love being in my little hovel in my little sammy bubble um and only finally before i go i just want to say my fitbit broke so it's had to go back but i have to say that's worked she is like a nagging irk in your side, like poking you. So it tells you you've got to do some steps. So what I will say as well is the Fitbit have worked. And that's going back because it's broken. But I am going to get a new one. So anyone who's looking to do something and, and make you be aware of doing something, I set this Fitbit up properly. And I'm telling you, she would irritate me so much in my office and tell me I had to walk 250 steps that I would walk. So um, something for you to look to. Look to. 
So on that note, I will leave you. I hope you're all well and happy and in good places. Um, and I hope you're keeping safe. And I will keep you updated. Um, peace out, warriors. Be strong. <laughs>